Um, hello and welcome to Forgiveness. Um, I think this is an escape room uh, game uh, based off of a sin that you, you know, one of the seven deadly sins, I believe. And um, so someone puts us in a, in a room that we have to escape from and it's based off of our sin. We can play the other uh, sins as well, but I want to see what sin it gives me. Flavor your sin difficulty. Uh, I want to play normal. <laughs> no time let sound cue when finding a clue. Um, find out your ex slept with someone else a week after you've broken up. You will get... Uh, I mean, we've broken up, so... Eh. Maybe a little bit jealous. Which option is more enjoyable to you? Food. What's more important to you? Um, be remembered. Most of your life you've been... Uh, some of that. Find out your crush like someone else you will. Eat ice cream and cry. <laughs> You're on a diet and your friends are going to junk food restaurant. You will... Uh, Oh, I'm still gonna go with them. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, gluttony. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright. My sin is gluttony, apparently. I thought it was gonna be wrath. But then again, I never even said I was angry at all, so... Oh, it's about time you woke up. You're probably wondering who I am and what you're doing here. Yeah, kinda. Well, first things first. I'm God. Yes, that's right. Don't be too surprised. Before I became God, I was called Dr. Benjamin Speck. <clears throat> well, you might be confused, but let me explain. There are two types of humans in this world. One, the humans who do good. The humans who care about others and their environment. And two, the horrible, filthy, disgusting humans. The ones that put humanity to shame. And then there's me. Now, not too long ago, I was a shitty man, doing all the kinds of shitty things you could imagine. But afterwards, an opportunity came to me. An opportunity to be forgiven for everything I've done. All I had to do was take on God's job and handle all the sinners. Now, what does God want with a filthy man like you? Any guesses? Hmm? Well, let's just say that I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. You know exactly what you've done and why you're here. But pretending to be a fool it won't work with God. Those who shit on God and God's rules, they don't deserve to live. Well, maybe you truly are just a fool. Well, I won't be surprised if you are. You are here because you are considered. A sinner. Now, you might be wondering why I haven't killed you. Yes. It's simple because I had the opportunity to be forgiven and now you have the same opportunity. All you have to do is prove to me that your life is worth living. You have 30 minutes to solve my task. Now, if you succeed, <laughs> you will prove to me that you are not actually dumb and that you have learned from the past to not repeat your mistakes ever again. But if you fail, you'll be sent to purgatory with the other sinners. <laughs> For eternity. Oh, your test is right behind that door. The code is... Oh, actually, how about you figure it out yourself? See, this is a practice round before your field test. Oh, I see. You're welcome. Okay. So, it's a calculator. Okay. What is this? An Encyclopedia of Psychology. Okay. Now 
let me move that here. And I saw this. Okay, so this is important. Code is triangle, diamond, circle, uh, square. Okay. Mm. Circle minus diamond plus triangle equals square. And it's done in the order of triangle, diamond, circle, uh, square. Okay. We'll drop that there, I suppose. Um, nothing else in there for now. So, a couple things can be true about this. Either uh, we'll find at least one of the symbols and be able to solve for the rest of them, or we need to sort of guess based on some other things. I don't think that's actually, oh, look at that. Let's see, toilet paper. What are these? Uh, syringe, med pack, bandages, jar, folder. Ah, okay, so we have to find the symbols then. So nine is that, so nine minus whatever these are. Okay, because I was thinking at first that maybe it has to deal with the number of like points on them, because then that would be, you know, that'd be three, that'd be four, that er, and that would also be four, because that would be weird. But then that wouldn't make any sense because that would be a negative number, so we should be able to find all of them except for square, so we do need to find all of them. I'm just wondering if maybe it's like under those things, because you know that is possible. The toilet paper is floating! What is this? Bottle. So it's just it's just bottle. And this is also bottle. So they're all just bottles then, I suppose. This is also bottle. This is jar, bottle. Okay. Uh, these are weights, but it doesn't seem to be interactable. This seems to be tied shut. And there's this. Oh, that opens. Okay. Ooh. Anything? No. Okay. What about on the pillow? Or what about this? These are pliers. I don't know if they'll actually be useful though, so I'll leave those there for now. Uh, a pillow. Ah! Four! Nine minus four plus something. Anyway, we can open this now, I think. Hammer! What do we want a hammer for? I 
I think it's a this is something that I have to use on something. Hmm. Smash this. No. <laughs> Smash this? No. Hmm. Hmm. I can use a hint. Look under items, open all the drawers and dra drawers and doors and try to find something to cut the rope. I've already did that. Stomp this. Stomp that. Can't stomp anything. Oh. Well, there we go. That was... I was dumb. Okay, so... Circle... Okay, so we have all the pieces that we need. So, nine... Okay, so... So, nine minus six is three. So, square is three. Uh, so... The code would be uh, two, four, nine, three. Two, four, nine, three. Two, four, nine, three. Really? Uh, two, four, nine. Unless if I'm not doing this right, that's also possible. Um, 9 minus 4. I'm not very good at math, so you'll have to excuse me. Uh, 9 minus 4 is... Okay. Yeah, I didn't do my math right. <laughs> it's been a while since I did math. I'm not good at it. I've never been good at it. Okay. So it is... Two, four, nine, and I think seven. No. There we go. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm bringing my hammer. I hope the game didn't just... Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, I'm just in here now. There's a knife. A cookie. Why did someone put cans in the microwave? That's a bad thing to do. Calendar. Okay, so this is important. Why is the mug important? Alley. Okay. Oop. Alley and Jack. Diploma for the winner, fourth regional food competition. Miss Relina Ber Bergington for taking first place category pumpkin soup. Uh, award Mayor's Handshake. Okay, lovely. What's this? Bottle. Okay. Um, can of beer. Uh, <laughs> potato. Pickle. Mushrooms. Okay. I'll put this away. Um, November 18th. Jack ate eight cookies and eight croissants. Allie ate two croissants and one cookie. Um... Okay, so these are all dates. June, that's November 18th, that's June 18th. Jack ate three cookies and six croissants. Okay, these are all... Okay, but the date is October 12th. So, October 12th, Jack ate four cookies and two croissants. Ellie ate 
five croissants and two cookies. Croissants and cookies are not, oh, there's croissants. I see. Croissants and cookies are not all that you should eat. You should eat like a large variety. Oh, there's a rat. You shouldn't eat the rat though. That's something that you shouldn't eat. Donuts. Uh, Cicero. Lots of other books. Okay, I can look at them all too. Six. Okay, interesting. P. Three. P3? That's important for something. I'm assuming this is my actual test and not just the pre-room test. Uh, okay, so first off, I think... Um, I think we need to do this. So, Jack ate four cookies, so let's grab four cookies. Uh, I can only grab one. Okay. Uh, this one is Jack, I think. Right? Yeah, that's Jack. Two. No. I can only grab one cookie at a time, so you'll have to be patient. Three. Eh. That's four cookies, right? It was four cookies and two croissants. Eat a croissant! Oh, four and L, I see. Interesting. And five croissants and two cookies. I'll get the cookies out of the way first. many? Five croissants. Two... Three... Four... Five. Uh... Ah! Oh. Note to self. Oh, I see. Um, maybe. Eight, zero... What the heck is this even supposed to do? Okay. So, L is four. Okay. I think I understand. I can write stuff down here, that's nice. That's cool. Okay, so I just need to like figure out what these are. So if I travel backwards. That shouldn't be too difficult. So, 8 is M. And 0 is... I think that goes down there, across here. 0 is A. Okay, um, six, but what does six equal? I'm not quite sure. Uh, P is three. Just write that down. Uh, 
Um, Ellie and Jack. Some of these look missing. It's a good thing I'm not actually being timed during this. I'd be kind of upset if I was. I mean, I guess this is kind of a food-themed uh, situation, but it's not really scaring me all that much. My, this one is like half black and half white. That's interesting. Uh, hmm. Find the hidden letters for the notebook using the microwave buttons. The microwave buttons? Oh. Seven, five, nine. Well, croissant is four. Oh. Look, right there. Two. I. Toilet paper. Maybe I'll just take everything out of here. I mean, it might not be correct, but it's what I'm doing. Seems like a lot of work to put all this stuff in here and then just not have anything. Well, I guess that's what happened. Let's <laughs> see, I just don't know- oh! Six is O. There we go. There we go, okay. Oh, oh, oh. D. One. D one. D one. D equals one. Okay. All right. D equals one. What does that get me? A a word. One two three four five six seven. Okay, and that's that is seven letters. So each letter is only used once. Okay. Okay. There's a diploma in here. Okay. What? Do I... Why, why is it pointing to the rat? Oh, it wants me to eat the rat. It wants me to eat the rat. All right, so those of you with a faint heart, uh, yeah, don't watch or whatever, I don't. Ew, this is gross. Uh... Oh, I escaped in less than half an hour. Okay. Uh, it was so gross. Uh. But that was neat. Neat little puzzle. Okay, let's see if we can choose a different sin.